Hello everyone, this is Mudan Raghavan. This video we are going to see how to generate valid business data combinations. There are different tools available in the market. However, we are going to use one of the tools called pairwise independent combinatorial testing. In short, it will be called as a PICT. This is from the Microsoft. So we are going to see how it works and what are the different ways we can generate the, the different combinations with the business logic. All the references will be shared in the description so that you can use for your own usage. Going to the Git repo for the given pick tool. So you can see the definition about the pairwise independent combinatorial testing. So rather than explaining the theory part here, we will directly jump into the problem statement. So here you can see there are different fields available, type, size, format method, file system, cluster size, compression. And each field has its own values, such as like type field will have only possible values such as like single, span, stripe, mirror, and RAID iPhone 5. Same for compression, it will be having only possible values as on or off. If you go with all the possible combinations, you will be ending up with 3000 plus scenarios or 3000 plus combinations, which may not be feasible to test all the scenarios. So in those scenarios, you will be going with the pairwise combinatorial testing. However, along with this, you will be having some scenarios where the scenarios are not at all possible in the business logic. So you need to include those rules also to your all the combinations to filter out. However, if you give only these fields and values to the tool, it will not generate all the combinations. It will generate minimum number of combinations based on some internal algorithms. The algorithm is nothing but it will be generating a kind of pairs inside. So the combination will be made across the pairs. As it mentioned here, it will be having, let's say, single and fat can be considered as a one pair. A single is the value from the type and fat is the value from the file system. So this both will be considered as a, a single combination or a single value. So other values will be considered as a, another value or let's say another combinations. In simple, the combination will be made across the pairs. So that's the reason the name itself, pairwise independent combinatorial testing. So if you just want to know more about the combinatorial testing, you need to understand the department called combinatorials. However, here we are going to deal with the, the problem statement to deal with it, right? So just to start with that, we need to understand about this tool. The tool can be used in the different forms, such as like a API, CLI, even you can use the web applications as well. So if you want to see the web applications, you can see all the tools available in this http.pairwise.org. If you go here, you can see the different efficiency level of metrics and you can see the different tools available under this URL, pairwise.org. Here, if you just click on the testing tools, pick pairwise generation tool, you can see the different tools details here. Again, I think I came to the same page let's go to the pairwise testing tools here you can see the available tools in the market and here you can see the details about that whether it is the commercial tool or whether it is the free or whether it is the spreadsheet based or whether it is a gui or whether it is the cli here we are going to use one of the tool called picked from the microsoft corporation it is nothing but the common line open source but in, our, in order to understand the actual output generation we will be going to one of the gui which is called pairwise.universe.com. Here you can see the different kinds of fields and its value as we mentioned in the earlier state and we will be having the different condition. So here you can see if condition, if type is RAID 5, then the compression should be always off and the result should be type 1. The result variable or result name has the prefix called dollar because it is not the field from our inputs. This is the field that we want to generate. So that's the reason we are just making here result with the prefix called dollar. If you don't have this one, so you cannot use this variable in your logic. So that's the reason we are generating here a new variable and we are mentioning what are the possible values that it can hold. And we are assigning the value when you have the business logic based on the logic, you are assigning the value for the, the variable that you created. So just if you generate, it will be generating the different kinds of input and output. So let me just remove all these things and here you can see generate and it will generate the different values. Different values in the sense it will be the minimum number of combinations that will make sure that you are covering the maximum coverage. 
and both the files can be downloaded from this URL. For example, the input can be downloaded and the output can be also downloaded. The output is just like a tab separated. If you just copy and paste it on the Excel, it will go into the each cell. Or if you want to separate like a tab, you can use it as a TSV file so that each value can be separated with the tab delimiter. So this is all about how to use the UI. When coming back to our picked file, or let's say the picked CLI command, so you need to download the CLI picked exe, which is from the same Git repo of the Microsoft. Once you download, so just go to the downloaded location. Here you can see there is a picked file placed here in the downloads. From there, I'm just opening the CMD. Here you type the picked. So rather than just creating the input file, you can see the input file same like we have seen in the GUI or the web. The same thing I have downloaded, or you can write your own file. After writing your own file, you can give that file as an input and enter. It will generate the same kind of output here. However, generating output in the console will not be useful. So in order to do that, or in order to overcome that, you can just use the same command, but output to the different file. For example, result.txt, enter and go to the downloads again. And here you can see the result. It will be same kind of output. Each field will be, and each value will be separated with the tab. Now we can add the different kinds of business logic, such as like the type and if then statement and else statement, and you can create your own variable and so on. Even you can have the different kinds of complexity business rules. For example, let's say you can have uncondition or condition in condition in some places, let's say if the value in some range and if the value in some other range, you can mention the different combinations by using the if then statement or you can use the your own variable. There are a lot of other possibilities that we can explore based on our need. So now we have seen what is pairwise testing and what are the different ways we can generate the output by using the GUI from the website or we can use the command line tool called PICT. So this is all about the pairwise picked test generation tool. Thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.